Hello everyone, I'm Father Andrew. It's lovely to see you and listen together uh, today's Holy Gospel. Uh, today is a Thursday of the fifth week of Lent. Uh, today's Holy Gospel is John uh, chapter 8 verse 51 to 59. I will read in some uh, sentence now. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, Now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead, and the prophets are dead. And yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you great then, our father Abraham, who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, It is very important and also interesting about the Holy Gospel today because we believe in Jesus Christ means we follow Jesus Christ, His word, uh, His deeds, or everything as a, a real man, as a, a son of God, as God. But many people still don't believe in uh, Jesus as a real man, as a, a son of God and God. For this reason, Jesus is not only before Abraham. He is also the God of Abraham. Jesus is the eternal word of the Father. His only begotten Son who became flesh. As a man, Abraham is before Jesus. Obviously, as a true God, Jesus is before Abraham. His first is an eternal first. The world is without beginning and without end. It is the eternal truth of Jesus that makes the difference with every other man. If the Father and the Son in the Holy Spirit are one eternal mystery of love, truth, justice, light. Why are Christians today sharing this mystery? They do not know that if they separate the Father from the Son and the Son from the Father, no salvation will be possible anymore. It will not be possible because it is the Father who saves. The Father saves through Christ Jesus in the Holy Spirit. If we separate Jesus from the Father, the Father will not be able to save. He lacks his one, one and only mediator. The whole Father gives for Christ, everything gives in Christ. Everything is lived and realized with Christ in his body. Christ is separated from the Father. The church is also separated from the Father. It is no longer a mediator of salvation because the salvation is a gift that descends from the Father and is given to man through the body of Christ which is uh, the church. Many disciples of Jesus far outweigh the hostility of uh, the scribes and Pharisees of Jesus' time. We are sinking into a kingdom of darkness from which it will be difficult to come out tomorrow. Christ destroyed. Everything is destroyed. Can I ask one question? Can we abandon our foolishness and foolishness and return to the purity of the truth of Christ Jesus? Yes, of course. Whoever wants to go out, invoke the Holy Spirit and go out. Take your faith in your hands and carry all your days in it. Today, it is the strength of the individual believer 
who must be driving force for others to believe. I believe this is the holy way. I hope you have a beautiful time and beautiful day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.